Hi, I'm Stephanie Wood, EFT Tapping Trainer and Practitioner and Creator of Ultra EFT, which stands for Understanding Life Through Realization and Awareness. This video is about resilience. Before we get started, I just want to note that this and any other tapping videos are definitely not meant as a substitute for learning how to tap on yourself properly. And you can see on the comments that I've noted how you can learn to do this. By continuing on with this video, you do agree to take full responsibility for your own emotional and physical well being. It's not meant as a substitute for any kind of professional medical or psychological advice or treatment. So let's get started. Let's talk about resilience. What's important about resilience is what it means for you. Now, if you're watching this, you might just be curious about what innate resilience is, or you may find that you define yourself as a person who doesn't have great resilience. Maybe you walk around life feeling triggered all the time. Maybe you feel kind of beaten down by life. Maybe you feel like life's just blowing you here and there and you feel a little bit powerless over how to handle that and that you feel that you don't handle life well. Well, I'm hoping that what you'll hear today in this video might help you see something different about that. So let's just start tapping and see where it goes. If some of the ideas presented here don't kind of land or make sense or are confusing, don't worry about it. Some of these are kind of um, a different level of looking at things, a different perspective. And so if your brain doesn't want to take that in, don't worry about it. Just tap along and listen to it like it's music. Let that kind of flow over you and see what lands. See if anything lands. So let's just start tapping. And the words that I'm going to use right now are about feeling not resilient. We're just going to start with a round of that to acknowledge how you might be feeling. The words may or may not resonate with you. You can say the words. You can use other words uh, to substitute that will uh, accurately define how you feel. So just start out with, even though I do not feel resilient, I deeply acknowledge that that's where I'm at right now and that it appears that way to me right now. Okay. Even though I am not feeling resilient, I don't feel like I have that bounce back ability. In fact, I often feel quite the opposite. That's how I feel. And I acknowledge and honor that. Even though I don't really feel resilient. That's not really a word I would use to describe myself. And I would love to be more resilient, but I don't know how. That is simply where I'm at. And I am open to seeing something new about this. Top of the head. I don't feel resilient. Inside of the eyebrow. I feel triggered a lot of the time. Side of the eye. Life overwhelms me sometimes. under the eye. Sometimes I feel beaten down by life and circumstances. Under the nose, I don't really feel resilient. Chin. In fact, sometimes I feel a little powerless over what's happening. Collarbone. And I don't know how to access my own strength. Under the arm, I would describe myself as resilient. And the 
rest. I don't feel resilient. Okay, so take a breath and I like to shake it out or lay your hands in your lap and just take a breath. And just notice your own thoughts and feelings and definitions of resilience. What does that mean to you? And just notice that. And then just tapping on the top of your head. I don't think I'm resilient. Inside of the eyebrow. I don't handle situations very well. Side of the eye. Maybe it seems like I don't handle life very well. Under the eye. Sometimes it just feels like too much. Under the nose. And that is my experience. Chin. And I've had experiences where I was not very resilient. I have evidence that shows that I have not been resilient. Under the arm, I have files and files of experience <laughs> that shows that I have not been resilient. There's evidence. And the wrist. But what if that doesn't make it true? Top of the head. What if I'm calling my reactions and responses inside of the eyebrow not resilient? Side of the eye. But what if that's just a definition? Under the eye. I have responded to experiences in a certain way under the nose and that is what occurred to me in the moment chin but I don't always respond to everything the same way collarbone and what if I can be open to the possibility under the arm, that what I'm actually experiencing in the moment, and the rest, are the thoughts and feelings that I'm having about the circumstances. Top of the head. What if my reactions and responses inside the eyebrow are not caused by the circumstances or situation or people. Side of the eye. What if they are not making me feel a certain way? Under the eye. I might have correlating thoughts and feelings that come up. Under the nose. But what if those come and go regardless of my outside circumstances? Chin. What if nothing can cause me to feel a certain way? Collarbone. It may look like something causes me to feel a certain way. Under the arm. But what if that's not exactly how it works? And the wrist. I'm open to seeing something new about this. Okay, take a breath, shake that off. Okay, tapping on the top of the head. What if I am more than my thoughts and feelings? inside of the eyebrow. What if I just think I'm my thoughts and my feelings? 
light of the eye. And what if my essence is limitless under the eye? What if who and what I really am under the nose has nothing to do with my thoughts and feelings? Chin. And what if that essence of me is innately resilient? Collarbone. What if it's limitless and edgeless? Under the arm. What if it's always safe because it's untouchable? And the wrist. And this idea of who I think I am. Top of the head. This idea that's me is like a bundle of activity inside of the eyebrow. It's made up of my memories, side of the eye, my experiences under the eye, the identities I formed under the nose, my likes and dislikes, chin, my beliefs about myself and others in the world, collarbone. What if that's just an idea of who I am under the arm? That can change at any time. And the wrist, it's malleable, it's dynamic, top of the head. What if I am more than that? Inside of the eyebrow. What if I am actually that energy that's limitless? Side of the eye. What if I am that awareness under the eye? What if I'm that energy that someday will not be keeping this body upright under the nose? What if that is what I really am and who I really am? Chin cannot be touched, cannot be hurt. Collarbone. And what if I could trust that under the arm? Because even if I lost my identities and my memory and the wrist, I'm still here existing and being aware. Top of the head. What if that is who I really am? Inside of the eyebrow. And what if just like my body knows how to heal a paper cut? Side of the eye. Without me having to do affirmations or Tend to it all the time and think about it under the eye. What if I can trust that innate, profound intelligence under the nose that knows how to fix a paper cut without me thinking about it? Chin. What if that profound, infinite intelligence also takes care of my psychological and emotional states. Collarbone. What if I don't have to try to solve it, fix it, change it under the arm? And what if sometimes getting involved in that is what causes more problems? <laughs> and the wrist. What if I could lean back into who and what I really am 
and relax. Okay, take a breath, shake that off. And I want you to just, again, think about resilience and what that means for you. And just notice what's there. I'm going to end this video here and I'm really curious about how any of that landed with you. And if you find that you see something different about yourself and about your ability to respond to life. And please share with me in the comments any thoughts or feelings or anything of note. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching this video.